Okay, here I am in front of the car. I did a video last week and, and uploaded it about charging our car up in the village. It was quite a nice little video, I thought. I had a cat on, the church bell was ringing. It was all quite lovely. Um, but the information I was giving, I found out about the day after I uploaded was actually wrong. And so I took it down quickly. So I think only about seven people had seen it. So I apologise to those seven um, because I gave the wrong information because things have recently changed so I'm going to add on the, the end of that video which still applies which shows us charging the car um, but just to say that now the information about charging so we can charge our car up in the village between the hours of 11 o'clock at night and 6 in the morning for about 1 euro 50 which is great but not many people want to go up at 11 o'clock at night and then go up again at 6 in the morning to collect the car um, but that's probably what we will do because we've got solar power here so at the moment we don't have enough power to charge our car at home but it's something that we're working on so we're probably going to get some more panels it's probably going to spur us on to get some more panels because prior to January so we're now in um, as I'm making this video we're in April 2022 and uh, at the end of last year, up to January this year, we could actually charge the car between the hours of 8 in the evening and 7 in the morning for one euro fifty. So we would just take it up then, which was actually quite convenient, that wasn't too bad. But now because they've narrowed the hours and, uh, and the price I think is going up as well for if you do it out of those hours, um, it still works out better than the current cost of uh, fuel, of diesel or petrol, so it's still good but it's a lot more than it was and it's more inconvenient than it was i think that's the main thing so yeah so we're thinking about getting some more solar panels and um tom working on the you know being able to charge it at home which would be really good that would be something to aim for because then we'd have uh, in effect well solar travel which would be brilliant we have that now with our bikes but it'd be really good to be able to do that with the car as well um, so yeah, so now I'll just uh, link in the other video that I did last week, and um, which Tom kindly videoed, and um, yeah, show you how we charge our car in the village. And if I have any more information on the cost of charging electric cars in France, I will add it into the, um, the information that comes with the video. <laughs> so what we do is probably once or twice a week, we bring it up to the village here, so we're in the middle of La Salvata. So we drive up here, plug it in, I'm going to show you what we do. So just show you here on our car, we've got little, that's just the lever to open. <laughs> Sorry, is it close? <laughs> Follow me around here. Oh. <laughs> okay, do you want to see this here? Too? So that's, uh, we open that. So that little lever inside just releases that and you can open the thing. Now I'll just get the... So, to charge up at this one, this is not a fast charger, so this is a, it's an AC charger rather than DC, so it charges more slowly. This one is 22 kilovolt, kilovolt. and um, you can use that type of cable, which is the type you have just to plug in at home with a normal connector, so you can just plug that in takes a bit longer but we use this cable that we bought with the car just because it does it a little bit faster now it doesn't matter for tonight because we leave it all night anyway but um, if we were somewhere else and we were stuck a bit it would just charge it a little bit quicker so that's why we do this so this end I'll just show you that because this is when you first get an electric car it's all these connectors that goes in here in your car make sure it's properly in got a little cover on it this take the cover off I have here a Revio card and I think we paid something like 12 euros when we first got it um, and it just means we get the electricity a little bit cheaper but you don't have to have one of these although for this one it's what opens the thing so it's important for this so you just put that up to the screen makes a little noise that means you can open this and it releases it for you. I'll let you, Tom just film inside and I'm going to put it into this top one here. This other one is the one you would just plug in your normal home charger that you can use if you want is there. But I'm going to put it into here. It's a little bit awkward. 
push it in well. I put all these bits in just to make sure they're out of the way. Then shut the door. Yep, I'll just trap that a little bit, but it's okay. And I know that you can hear the car starts charging, you can hear it making a noise. That's it. And it does that now and again. So when it first connects up, it does that. And then you can see this has changed to blue from the green lights flashing there just showing it's doing something and the blue shows it's charging so you know it's charging okay shut the boot <laughs> you just leave that there that's that um yeah and that's it really and we'll just come back and lock the car and then we'll come back in the morning put the little card up again to the little screen to make the door open and unplug it and then we get charged directly so they just take it out of our bank account every month and they send a little message saying what they've taken out so it is very easy actually um, yeah I think that's uh, yeah, basic how to charge a car